step, had a notion. Dick out, corner three, got it! Step and Dick out. Tom and Gonzaga influenced me, obviously, in a number of ways. As a player, uh, you know, I think Coach Few and the staff here gave me the opportunity to fully maximize my abilities and, and prepare myself for opportunities that were going to come down the road. Uh, and I can I can firmly say that had I stayed at the University of Washington, I probably wouldn't have realized my goals and dreams of playing in the NBA. I'm one of the few that can say I've done all three things I wanted to do as a kid: play professional basketball. I've coached uh, for a year. I was on the Portland Trailblazers coaching staff, and then now, uh, you know, I'm I'm doing broadcasting in a number of different ways. I've tried to get involved with the GU TV and the GU broadcasting since I've moved back to Spokane. Um, you know, it's amazing to see where the broadcast department has grown from where I was at when I was a student here to what it is now. And, uh, you know, you guys have an unbelievable opportunity as to learn the industry and to do a lot more things uh, and prepare yourself than when I was here. I was given the opportunity to uh, take a look at, you know, starting the Barbers a, a few years back. And this was even before my family and I moved to Spokane three years ago. I said, you know what, let's take a longer look at it. Let's take a second look and see if it's something that, that we think would have success. Once we got to Spokane, we kind of looked at the lay of the land and I thought, hey, this, this could have a chance to work really well up here in Spokane. And so then we kind of dove both feet into the first location up north uh, at the Y. And then about a year later, we had the opportunity to move towards our second location. And then now our third location opened uh, end of May, so uh, on 28 East Sharp, uh, right one block off Kennedy Apartments. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a good opportunity, and, and it's really starting to grow here in Spokane.